So in this video I'm going to show you how to code in a new battery on the Audi A38V using the VCDS. So after you install the battery on the car, you go select, select channel number 19 CAN gateway. Then you go to adaptation. And now it says please select channel. Now as usual, if you open this list, you have a million things there. So to make things easier, on the search bar you simply put in the word battery. And now you have the whole thing filtered. So the four things that you need here are the things called battery adaptation. So you have rated battery capacity, battery technology, battery manufacturer and battery serial number. Now the first two things are very important. The last two are just for your information only, they don't really matter. So I'm going to say it right now, if you replace the original battery with one that's exactly the same capacity and uses the same technology as the old one, you don't really have to do anything. It will work just fine. But say it's different, you select each and every one of them. So you start with the capacity. And then you put in the size. Now, I already done this on this because so I'm going to change it. But the old battery was 69 ampere hours, so I changed it to 70. And you do that from uh, this box over here, so you write whatever you want there. Obviously, you take this value from uh, the sticker on the side of the battery. Once you put in the number, you say do it, and that's it. Then you go back. And then you go to the next category. The same thing again. Now you select battery technology. Again, I already done this. This one, this car has an AGM battery. But from here, you have to select the sort of battery you have on the car. Again, you read this off the the sticker on the side. So uh, if you have a start-stop system on the car, then generally speaking the battery will either be an EFB or an AGM. Now this car had an AGM from the factory, the new one is an, I mean an EFB from the factory, the new one is an AGM. So I selected AGM. Uh, selecting the battery technology is very important because uh, the type of uh, depending on the type of battery the ECU will uh, adapt the charging pattern and the charging voltage so new technology batteries like EFB and AGM can take a very high voltage uh, or of around 15 volts whereas an old school uh, wet battery will only take about 13 and a half so selecting the correct battery technology will uh, extend the life of your battery and obviously you select the one you want, let's do it and go back as you can see this one has AGM saved and now we go to the final two categories which like I said are not important at all because these are just text fields so this is just for information like battery manufacturer the car has no way of knowing what battery manufacturer, who the battery manufacturer is. On um, this car, the battery is a Bosch. I put in the word Bosch. It only saved the first three letters, so the battery is now a Bosch. 
but you can really much write anything you want there. And then the fourth category is uh, battery serial number. Again, you can pretty much write the swear word of your choice here. It doesn't really matter. The car has no way of knowing what the battery serial number is. This is just a text field. Again, I just copied the number of the side of the battery. This may be a product designation number rather than a serial number. I don't know, but that's something that I put in there. And that's it. You're pretty much done. Thanks for watching.